Hey, what is going on guys? This is the SS Ultimate Goku back with another video and um, So today I'm going to be uh, uh, talking about the news about the Venom trailer uh, Venom let's let there be carnage aka Venom 2 um, I seen the trailer um, I did do a reaction to it, but um, YouTube will uh, is just really stupid and I, I just I can't with the uh, way YouTube is these days um, but um, I'm gonna give my uh, thoughts on it now a lot of things have come out a lot of things came out uh, we didn't get really that much but we got enough we seen carnage we seen uh, some teasers about possible you know some people think all oh, this connected to the Tobey Maguire universe or oh how it's connected to the uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe uh, the MCU I think I think everybody by now should know that this is connected to the MCU uh, in a way um, but we don't exactly know where it connects or where it lines up uh, Venom 1 was very vague on that, and it was done that way on purpose um, because as of that movie, uh, the first Venom movie was very, very careful in trying to lay out where it took place because in case the film was successful, which it was, uh, and the possibility of them Disney working together with them in the future. Um, and so the second film is clearly, uh, putting it out there that, you know, this is going to be a part of the MCU and it is going to be, you know, somewhere it's going to be more defined of where all this takes place. So well, we, we don't know exactly how far along the events of Venom 1 to, uh, Venom 2 will B, um, but it seems like it's going to be maybe a couple of months, uh, if that, because as we all know, the, uh, end of the first Venom film, you had Kalidus Cassidy, uh, played by, uh, uh, William Harris, who, uh, basically, you know, is there, he has the big puffy hair, which is now magically gone, um, and uh so obviously time's passed because you know uh he cut the hair at some point uh either they're going to show him cutting the hair or uh something happens uh from that time from the first meetup that they had um so that's happening didn't really think they needed to cut the hair um a lot of people like that i thought it was okay because his hair's kind of like that anyways um but, uh, yeah, they did cut a hair a little bit off uh, for him. Um, so, the trailer had the breakfast scene, which was kind of funny. Um, they also showed the thing with the, the clerk. The clerk's back. Um, you know, she's delivering goods to uh, uh, Benham and Eddie Brock. It's kind of weird because... Um, she clearly knows, obviously, that Eddie Brock is Venom, but then later on, like, when she doesn't have the things that Venom wants, she's like, he's like, oh, let's eat, eat him. He's like, no, we cannot eat him. And he's like, wait, what? And she, like, acted like as if she didn't know, uh, you know, <laughs> like, he was, <laughs> I'm like, I was like, what? Um, so, uh, the Carnage thing looked really good. Um, now, despite the fact that, you know, the guy, the cop, I think that was, that was holding the newspaper that showed possibly the, the McGuire fight between him and, uh, Green Goblin, I think that was just a, a place, placeholder, um, you know, just like they did in the Morbius trailer where they showed McGuire's Spider-Man, um, I think that's just a placeholder, um, because again, we don't know exactly where this takes place anyways. And it could just be an Easter egg that they just put in there. Um, but I think Venom, this particular Venom, does definitively take place in the MCU. 
Um, where it takes place probably more defined in this movie since the first movie was very, very vague of where it took place other than the fact that it took place in the state of California, uh, in San Francisco. It was very vague. Uh, I think the second movie is not going to be as vague and it's going to be kind of more defined because now Disney and Sony have more of a relationship going on. Um, obviously, they're, they put out that t-shirt on the Disney uh, shop. Um, so there's obviously something going on behind the scenes. I don't know exactly for sure uh, what's going on in terms of the merchandise department because Disney has the merchandising rights to... Uh, spider-man now they sold it the sony sold it back to them in 2011 but i think there's something going along i think uh disney gave them some type of percentage uh i don't know that for sure i'm not saying that they are i'm just saying i think there's something going on behind the scenes that we're not aware of because you know that whole streaming deal that they're getting uh, after netflix uh uh you know, contract expires, you know, they're going to get all the Spider-Man, including the old Spider-Man movies uh, that aren't in the MCU that are going to probably be canon to the MCU after the third movie, thanks to uh, McGuire and uh, Garfield going to be in the uh, in the new Spider-Man 3 film um, uh, for the MCU. So that's going to happen. Um, so, I mean, there's something going on and I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if they're going to eventually get some type of percentage for the merchandise, um, because of this, uh, because of the, uh, the streaming deal. That's what I'm wondering, but I don't know that for sure. Again, that's just me theorizing, um, because it just seems kind of weird how they kind of just pop this up there out of nowhere. And now it's like Disney's really trying to like now, you know, kind of capitalize on this uh film that pretty much they're not involved with um you know they're not involved in this film i mean i mean i'm sure kevin feige is going to be a consultant behind the scenes probably more in this one than the last one because we know he kind of consulted in the first venom film but he didn't really do that much like I, and a lot of people made that out of you know something more than it actually was you know, he consulted some ideas, but he didn't do, like, he wasn't right there saying, you gotta do this, you gotta do that, you gotta do that. No, he wasn't doing that. This film, I could believe he's probably having more of a role uh, behind the scenes because Disney and Sony are working together more. Um, but we'll know for sure coming out of this. It still says in association with Marvel. It doesn't say Marvel Studios. So that just tells you right there, it's technically not an MCU film, but it probably is. Um, you know, it's kind of one of those weird type of deals. Um, so um, coming out of this again, the trailer was really good. Um, in terms of who's going to be appearing in this, as you know, Tom Hardy. Uh, uh, or Woody Harris, um, you know, Woody Harris uh, is going to be in this. They're the co-stars of this. I'm glad that uh, Woody Harris is coming back. Um, and, uh, you know, it's going to be a really good film. Um, you know, I was kind of worried, you know, what was going to happen since, you know, obviously he's good friends with the director from the first film, and that's why he was involved so I was kind of wondering if he was going to come back, but he is. He's working with Andy Serkit for this film. And I think uh, from the CGI, it looked really good. Um, it's a little more defined, uh, but again, Andy Serkic is more of a CGI guy uh, than the previous director. Um, the previous director was a newer director. And I, don't get me wrong, I think he... I think, um, I think the old director um, was a really did a really good job with it, um, despite everyone stinking. I think he did a really good job. Um, the uh, for the first director, uh, Robert or Robert Robert. Um, who did the first uh, directing uh, for it. But uh, now Andy's going to uh, continue on the mantle, essentially. Um, 
Now, there's a lot of things that are coming out of this that I'm finding now, which is kind of interesting. Um, so the cop apparently, some of you were telling this, and I don't know if this is true or not, but um, the cop guy that was reading the newspaper apparently is supposed to be uh, toxic. They were saying that he was like toxic or whatever. I didn't really know who that was at first. I really know Carnage and Venom. But uh, they're saying he's toxic. But I don't know if that's uh, for certain or not. Um, I don't know. Like I said, if you guys could give me like uh, more insight on that. Because I was like, I was like, wait, for sh uh, you know for that for sure? And I'm like, so... There's a lot of, if that's true, because that's another symbiote, that's, that's true, then there's a lot of different, uh, direction they can go in, uh, for the third film, um, it opens up a possibilities, um, personally, as I've said multiple times, uh, I do not think Spider-Man should be in this film, uh, I think they should not have him in the film, not even a cameo. Uh, just like in the first film, I know they wanted to do it in the first film, but I don't agree with that because here's the thing. I'm a Venom fan. I'm not really, I'm not a Spider-Man fan. Okay. Uh, Venom's my boy. You know what I'm saying? The moment you put Spider-Man in this film, the attention is going to deflect away from Venom. It's going to deflect away from Venom because you're putting Spider-Man in. So it's going to overshadow him. And that's why I don't think Spider-Man should be in this film. Because this film is about Venom. It is not about Spider-Man. Spider-Man is getting his own film. We're going to have... They're going to have Spider-Man with three other Spider-Mans in his solo film. Why would you want to put Venom... Why would you want to put a Spider-Man in this film when Venom when Venom is already Venom? He's not, you know, we already have seen his origins. We've not seen Spider-Man. So why would you put him in now? Now that it's set up. Um, I don't think Spider-Man should go up against Venom until at least the third or even fourth movie. Um... You know, where it's specifically Venom versus Spider-Man or them teaming up to go up against Carnage. Because this Venom, this version of Venom is not like the comic book version in a way. I mean, he is, but he isn't because he's more of a hero in this film. Uh, you know, and what I mean by that is he's more of a anti-hero hero rather than an anti-hero villain, uh, which he is in the comics. Um, he acts more like a hero in this film, especially from the, or at least in the first one he did. I'm assuming in the second one he's going to too, because that's just the character they've set up in this movie. They've made him more of a hero, uh, in this film. Uh, and that's mainly because the film it focuses more on Venom, uh, because Spider-Man is not involved. Uh, and they don't know each other. They don't know. Like, Venom and Spider-Man do not know each other so far. They have not met. Like, Andy Serkis actually confirmed this, that Spider-Man and Venom in this universe have not met. So, if they've not met, putting him in the film right now makes no sense. Because I feel like... I feel like if you're going to put Spider-Man in a Venom film at this point... You have to put it in a film where it specifically zeroes in on Venom versus Spider-Man or, you know, something like that to an effect where it's like, okay, this film is specifically zeroing in on Venom and Spider-Man. And that's not what this film is about. This film is not about Venom versus Spider-Man. This is not about those two. It is about Venom versus Carnage. That is the plot of this movie. This movie is about is supposed to be about uh, Woody Harris and uh, Tom Hardy. That's what this film is supposed to be about. Um, and I think if you put Spider-Man in this film now, you take away from that by doing that. 
Um, so I really hope, and again, it comes out September 24th. I don't know if it's rated R or if it's going to be PG-13 again. Um, I know a lot of people wanted the last movie to be rated R, and they dumbed it down a little bit so it would be good enough to be a PG-13 movie. It was the it was the most rated R PG-13 movie out there um, because it was essentially a rated R movie, but they they took some stuff out so it would be PG-13. Um, I don't know exactly if they'd be able to do that again here with Carnage because, um, you know, Carnage is a murderer. <laughs> like, but uh, we'll see what uh, Sony does here. Um, remember, the reason why it was PG-13 was because they wanted to work with Disney more. And Disney at the time did not want any rated R superhero movies. Um, this is before the Fox deal and stuff like that. Um, you know, Deadpool obviously is a rated uh, is going to be a rated R film at least for the solo stuff. Uh, but again, that was a Fox film. But then no one knew if that was going to be inherited to Disney. And uh, obviously, Disney execs have said that they're going to have a rated R Deadpool movie again. So um, I don't see why you would have the restrictions now uh, if you're going to make an exception for Deadpool. Um, but we'll see what they do. We'll see what they decide to do. They might end up still just going with PG-13 because that's how they did the first movie. Um, but Carnage is not a PG-13 character, in my opinion. So, um, <laughs> it's going to be kind of interesting how they do that. Um, but the movie looked, uh, the trailer looked pretty good. Um, I'm very uh, much looking forward to this. I'm very, uh, much looking forward to see what Woody, Woody and, uh, uh, Tom do. Uh, and again, um, I'm not sure, like I said, the guy, the guy who's playing that cop, um, who plays the cop, um, is supposed to apparently be toxic, which could open up, it's supposed to open that up for, uh, future films possibly because you got to remember sony uh has the rights to the spider-man films and they got to keep putting out films every seven years or they lose the rights so they got to keep so every two years they're going to be doing films i mean whether it's the spider-man mcu uh or it's going to be something else completely they're going to keep doing stuff and so you know you know, they're going to do Venom. Obviously, they're trying other things like Morbius whenever that comes out. Um, so they're going to try different things. So if this actor is toxic, that could lead to a third film, uh, depending on where they are in two years with Spider-Man. Um, if they don't want to do a Spider-Man film um, with Venom, you know, they could do that as their backup. But then it also would lead to possibly Carnage dying, which I don't want Carnage dying because I don't. I, I really hope Carnage doesn't die in this film. I mean, I want Venom to win, obviously, but I don't. I don't want him to necessarily die in this film because I think there's more stories you can tell with Carnage, um, with Venom, especially if you have Spider-Man in the fold. Uh, if you do like the Maximum Carnage storyline. Um, um, which again, I don't know how they would do that now since they're doing a carnage thing, but, um, you know, a lot of people have pointed out that Venom needs to get the, uh, the spider, uh, thing on his chest, which he doesn't have. The reason why he doesn't have it on his chest is because Venom never met, uh, uh, Venom never, the symbiote never, a Venom never met Peter Parker. Uh, and that's how he got the chest was he fused with Peter Parker and then he went back to Eddie Brock then he went back to Eddie Brock and that's how he got got it on his chest so that's why he doesn't have it uh and doesn't have those extra abilities so he'll have to meet 
Spider-Man to get that. And we don't know when that will be at this point. So, uh, and I don't think it will be this film because, uh, again, if they did it just for the sake of doing that, you know, it would take like, what, two minutes for a cameo and then, oh yeah, now he comes back and gives it to him. That'd be kind of stupid. There needs to be actually a story driven for it to make sense. Like I said, that's what you would do for a third film possibly, uh, unless they're going in the toxic route. Uh, uh, and uh, putting uh, him in the mix. Um, you know, if it's true that they're deciding to put Toxic for the th uh, be the third villain, um, I, I don't know if that would exactly kill off Carnage uh, or not, but uh, that would kind of suck if they did. But, um, you know, Toxic, you know, if they bring Toxic into the fold, then again, you know, you're looking at, a, you, you know, you're possibly looking at a fourth film until you get spider-man in there and again it depends on where uh it depends on where sony and disney are at uh in those next couple of years but nonetheless so far it's looking good uh i'm very very excited about venom uh i hope you guys are excited about venom let's there be carnage too um let me know what you guys think. What do you guys think about Woody and Tom? What do you think about the potentiability of the next films and all the stuff we discussed? Uh, like I said, uh, let me know what you guys think about this. Comment, rate. If you like to turn my videos, please subscribe. Hit the notification bell for all the latest contents. Also, if you are a new subscriber, make sure to subscribe. A lot of you guys that are watching my uh, videos aren't actually subscribed, so make sure to hit the subscribe button and that bell for all the latest content. All links in the description. And that's about it, guys. I am the SS Ultimate Goku Moderator. Peace.